welcome Nishan to our TikTok live career counseling Thank session. You. It is it is honor to have you on our live. You are such a presti prestigious university, and it's a historic moment for us. So today we would yeah I have been sharing lots about your University of Wollongong and about our services. Today we would like to know more from the horse mouth from you about University of Wollongong. Can you please share more information about the Wollongong? Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, when it comes to UAW University of Wollongong, uh, it's a really, really good university. We've got three campuses, one in Wollongong City and a couple of them in Sydney. Uh, for the students who want to enjoy the proper campus life, uh, you know, they'll be able to enjoy that in Wollongong City because it's a 100-acre campus with all kinds of uh, facilities available for the students, you know, ranging from on-campus accommodations to, you know, cricket clubs to football clubs, restaurants, uh, you know, tech labs, science labs, everything you name it, it's going to be there. And for the students who want to experience that proper city life, you know, uh, who wants to study in Sydney and wants to enjoy that hustle and bustle, uh, for all the business degrees, we have a campus in uh, uh, Sydney where we have set up the campus inside Credit Suisse, which is a multinational company, where from the classroom, they get to view the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour. So it's oh. a beautiful campus there. And they'll be always surrounded by the working professionals, which is going to help them a lot. So, and we've got all courses from different, uh, different departments, ranging from engineering to science, to arts, to business. Uh, we are pretty famous for engineering and business to be exact yeah. with all the accreditations that we carry. And uh, with a really, really good, uh, unique specializations available for both business and, you know, engineering courses. Yeah, Nepalese, uh, Wollongong, University of Wollongong is quite popular university among Nepalese community. And we have been recruiting uh, the student for a very long time. So how do you find the Nepalese student uh, and their community uh, at the university? Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by the uh, Nepalese students because, you know, whenever they, whenever they come, it's, it's always like they've already decided what they wanted to do. They have a yeah. really clear mindset. Uh, you know, they, they know which university, they know which course they want to do. And they just want to come and talk, talk to you about the university in general. You know, what is the advantages that they're going to be getting, which, which I'm really impressed. Uh, you know, uh, I just let them know that, you know, the course that they selected was really good with the background that they have. And I let them know, you know, what are the advantages that they're going to get from the location as well as, you know, from the university as well. Uh, so that's something that's a really, uh, you know, an advantage for a student because if they have a clear mindset, uh, you know, whenever they go to Australia, which is going to be a huge transition for them from moving from Nepal to Australia. And if they're clear as to what they are doing, it's going to be real easy for them whenever they go to Australia. So I'm, I'm really impressed by it. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. So uh, as you have been running lots of program, lots of program uh, uh, in interest of Nepalese student. And you are also offering a generous scholarship to the student who meets the entry criteria. Can you please explain us uh, the scholarship that you have been offering and what is the entry criteria for that? Sure, sure. So when it comes to both bachelor's and master's for any student who's eligible for the course they are doing, uh, they will be awarded a 20% scholarship from the university, which will be deducted from the entire course fee. So for any wow. students, let's say for an undergraduate degree, if they're, if they're able to you know, uh, be eligible, let's say they've got 3.0 CGPA minimum, in their in their 12th standard, they will be eligible for a 20% scholarship. And if they've gotten a minimum 65% in their undergraduate for any postgraduate students, they'll be awarded again a 20% scholarship. So that will be detected from the entire course fee. Uh, this is something pretty rare for a university to give because not every student gets a 20% scholarship. Uh, but from UOW, we do give that. And for academically qualified students, let's say for students who've got more than 3.8 CGPA in their 12th standard, they get a 30% scholarship from the university, which again will be detected from the entire course fee. And for students who've gotten a minimum of 75% in their undergraduate or 3.3 CGPA in their undergraduate, they again get a 30% a scholarship for the postgraduate programs. There are some limitations when it comes to scholarships. Uh, you know, a lot of medical degrees doesn't have scholarship and social, uh, social work, but rest of all the other courses, be it engineering, IT, computer science, business, uh, arts, etc. We've got this particular scholarship going on. Yeah, that's wonderful uh, information. As you are, you as you are a resource-based university, you also run a master of resource as well as PhD program. So, yes. can you please explain us a little more uh, to yeah. those audience who have been watching today and willing to study master of resource or PhD program? Absolutely. So we did, we give a lot of importance for research programs and research oriented courses. We've actually been awarded 95% uh, of our research degrees have been awarded high 
uh, in, in regards to quality by the department because that's that's how we are really concentrated into. Uh, for the students who've already done their masters and who wants to pursue their you know PhD programs or research programs at UW, uh, they get to have a chance uh, to do with one of our professors who's based out of Wollongong City campus. Uh, they can you know go through their uh, profiles in our website. And if they really like the professors that they want to do, they can send whichever paper that they're working for directly to the professor and get an approval from them. Uh, I'm just letting you know that there are a lot of students who've got a 100% scholarship from the professor themselves because of the quality of paper. So they're doing their entire PhD program for four years free of cost. And you know, they get to go to Wollongong, research on the papers and get their degrees. Uh, that's how much we value the PhD programs. And that's how, that's how much we value our students as well. Because we know if the quality is going to be there, if the paper is really impressive, they can definitely apply. And uh, if everything goes well, they get to have 25, 50, or even 100% sponsorship from the uh, professors. Uh, so this is how the procedure works. They get to search for the, uh, the faculty from the website, see whichever profile matches for them, send the first working paper that they have been the first author, uh, send it to the professor, get an approval from them, and then they can come and reach out to you for the application process. No, that's wonderful. And uh, as you know that the Wollongong is quite near from the Sydney. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, it, it's the nearest city um, uh, as being a regional areas. So uh, uh, many students these days want to study regional areas, regional areas. How do you comment on that? Right. See, when it comes to regional areas, there's always a mindset like, you know, when, when they hear the word regional, they think like it's going to be like a village. You know, there's not going to be. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. There's not going to be something like what they've imagined in Australia, but that's absolutely not true. Uh, regional, what they've considered regional as is when it comes to the uh, number of people living there. And just, you know, when it comes to a little bit of development with regards to infrastructure, but whatever they're able to find in Sydney or maybe Melbourne, they're definitely going to find in Wollongong City as well. But the crowd mm. and, you know, the people will be comparatively lesser. But it's absolutely the same as Australia. It's still in Australia. It's still, uh, you know, the city which is very, very close to Sydney. It's just one and a half hours drive away from Sydney. For the students who still think, even after getting there, you know, they, still, they still think that, you know, it's not as equal as Sydney. They can always, you know, take up a rent up, uh, you know, rent car or you know, take up a cab, drive to uh, you know, Sydney for, for an hour and a half drive. And, you know, enjoy there for spend the weekend and then come back to Wollongong also. But the students who are going to be staying in Wollongong, they're going to have a lot of advantage this way. You know, when it comes to cost of living, which is going to be really, really affordable uh, when you compare with big cities like Melbourne, Sydney or Brisbane. Or, you know, when it comes to the uh, post-study work visa rights as well, students will be getting a lot of benefits when it comes to PSW. So, you know, these are some of the advantages that will be missed out from uh, metro cities like Melbourne and Sydney. Uh, but they still get to enjoy it in Wollongong. It's just that, you know, a lot of students' mindset is like, okay, when I'm going to Australia, I need to study in Sydney or Melbourne. But I'm just letting you know, guys, Wollongong is as same as, as equal as Sydney or Melbourne. It's just that the name is different and it's still a little yes. bit far away from Sydney. That's it. That's, that's, all, that's all I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for this information. So uh, as uh, you have been recruiting Nepalese students there for maybe a long time, very long time. And uh, as you said, that it is not far from the Sydney. Yeah, of course, it is not far from the Sydney. And if this, any student wants to study in a calm place, and wants to enjoy the, wants to get the university experience, uh, experience. And if they have uh, relatives in Sydney, still they can make it. Uh, if they want to spend a weekend in Sydney, still that's possible. So, which is wonderful news. And uh, of course, in Wollongong, you student gonna get additional, um, additional year of uh, working, which might uh, get uh, in, in future if they want wants to settle over there or any, any other additional benefit. So, uh, uh, as you said, like, uh, how, how is the, uh, uh, these days, like, we are experiencing that the offer turnaround time are taking a little bit long time. And sometimes right. we get the complaint from the student. How are you going to solve this in upcoming intake? Right, right. See, uh, yes, we do understand, you know, there's a bit of a delay from University of Wollongong when it comes to offer letters and, you know, uh, COEs and etc. Uh, whatever I can tell you right now is uh, we have, you know, strategized the plan. You know, whenever they put on an application, you know, it's going to take five working days for them to get a response from the university. Uh, if at all that's not going to happen, they can always come and reach out to you and you can come and reach out to me. And within the next two to three working days, I will make sure, you know, whatever is pending will get it sorted, uh, be it offer letter or be it COE. But I just wanted to mention that GTE might take a little bit more of time. 
uh, GTE clearance because that is something that's a very uh, you know critical procedure that we have. Yes, so that will still take a little bit time, but I will still you know push it from my end if that's getting a lot of time. Uh, and I will definitely push it from my end and you know get it sorted for you guys. Uh, but I do understand there's a bit of a delay, but at least I can tell you that from here on. Uh, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be with you. Uh, you know, I'm going to be yes. you know teaming up with you, and I'll make sure you know everything gets sorted in the timely manner, and so that you know the students and you guys are a little bit comfortable with UW. Yeah. Once again, my student wants to know why University of Wollongong from the university perspective. When it comes to UW, you know, um, see, students will be getting uh, quality education when it comes to UW. Uh, you know, whenever they they're coming to uh, you know Australia. And uh, see, when it comes to engineering degrees, we've been accredited by the Engineers of Australia Board, and we're also part of a group of eight associates. Uh, that's something uh, very rare for a university. So even if the students are not getting into one of the group of eight college, they can still come to URW and get the same quality of education as expected from a group of eight college, uh, with a with a very affordable cost of tuition fees, uh, with a very also a, you know very uh, good scholarship as well. So that's something students will be getting uh, from URW. That's a that's a really good advantage. Uh, and when it comes to you know masters of business degree, we have something very unique thing called as a double degree program, where the students can do two masters in the span of two years. So all our business okay. degrees, you know, they can choose mix and match, uh, do two masters in the span of two years, uh, which is also something very very catchy and picking up throughout the world right now, uh, because we do understand time is very limited. Time is moving real fast. And they want to acquire how much ever knowledge they can within a within a short period of time, and we've introduced this double degree program where they can you know choose any two degrees from the list that we have: be it business analytics, international business, uh, supply chain management, human resource management, innovation and entrepreneurship, etc. They can do two masters in the span of two years and you know get it sorted. So that's something that's really picking up right now. See, so these are the advantages, and you know when it comes to the course degrees and the advantages of staying in a regional area. And advantages from the university as well because you know we have set up a career central team in the campus where they'll be helping the students from day one to build their skill set, structure their CV, uh, let them know if there is any openings in the market with regards to the course that they're doing, help them out in any way they can, right? So you know a lot of students are a little bit confused as to how they can go and apply for it because Australian education doesn't work like Nepalese Nepalese education, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't. are not going to come to the campus, give them a job, pick them up, and you know start working with them. So it generally, you know, how students build their connections, how they build their contacts, and how they, you know, improvise their skills set according to the market trends. So that will be definitely guided by the career central team that we have set up in the campus, which is going to be a huge, huge helpful, huge help for these students there whenever they come to UW. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable information. This has helped my student a lot. Now they can build the confidence, and as you know, uh, dear student, uh, as you have just known that the. University is now speeding up for the turnaround time, and, and the offer letter are gonna come within five working days. If we could not get within five working days, we are just a click away to uh, request for speedy process. So, uh, um, sir, we have been working with Wollongong University of Wollongong for very long times, and uh, we have been give, uh, given a very good support. Just uh, my audience and my student wants to know that our relationship and um, uh, they want to accumulate the trust that why the KIC uh, is one of uh, one of their uh, legitimate partner for University of Wollongong. Just uh, can you please say a few words for absolutely, that? Absolutely, absolutely. Just like you rightly mentioned, you know, we've been working for a very long time and the reason behind is because we have the trust in you, you know, the, the quality of students that you bring into the picture. Uh, you know, it's something that we can always depend upon. We don't have to worry about, you know, when it comes to uh, any part of the process because you guys are up to date and you guys know what the process is all about. So just that, you know, we, we get all the documents, we get it sorted, we issue the offer then, and as soon as possible because we know everything's going to be right from your end uh, when it comes to timely manner, when it comes to the process, uh, you know, and when it comes to the knowledge of what the courses can, students can do as well when it comes to guidance. So that's the reason why we've, we've been partnered with KIC. And uh, that, so for whoever is watching, I think it's, 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 it's right time for you guys to start teaming up with KIC and put down an application with UOW because July is going to be pretty massive after borders have opened. Yeah, it is. And, and KIC will be like a really good uh, you know, help for you guys to speed up the process, make sure the process are done in a timely manner and get it sorted for you guys. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable time. Um, and thank you for accepting our invitation and 
today i have uh, fulfilled my promise to my audience my students and parents now uaw has completed its session thank you so much and have a good day sir thank you thank you so much have a good day yes